Hello, in the next video I'm going to show you how you can make a simple script using uh, Windows, CE and Eclipse. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new project. Uh, so select File, New, Other from Eclipse. Uh, in the JMO Solution subdirectory select Mode Test, click Next and enter a name for your project. Click on Finish. Now we created a mode test project. We're going to connect uh, the Eclipse to the device manager. So click on the connect icon. This will list Eclipse as a connected testing tool. Uh, what we're going to do now is uh, I'm just going to press recording. Now because I already have several uh, projects in my workspace, uh, I get a dialog box and it's asking me which uh, of my projects I want to modify. So I select the one I just created, the VCA project. Click OK. Now this is uh, an emulator I have running uh, connected with the remote device screen. So I'm just going to uh, record something by uh, pressing this button for instance. going to check this uh, checkbox and I'm going to make a selection in this uh, radio button then I'm going to change stops and I'm going to make a selection in this uh, combo box now if I press stop recording we can have a look at the script that was created for us um, so I can go back to the initial screen uh, if I check this box again and set it back to the initial value and then instead of yellow I'm going to select uh, green for instance and then I'm going to run this script by selecting run Java application okay okay so now it's going to press the button it's going to uncheck the checkbox it's going to select the other radio button it's going to move to the list one top and then it's going to select green from the list So the script finished successfully. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to press refresh and we can have a look at the result. So I'm going to open this with the web browser and as you can see the script finished successfully. Now if we have a closer look at the object rep repository behind this script, so I'm going to select the object pool and select open with mo object pool editor now this is the the code representation of the object pool uh, I can switch to the GUI interpretation the GUI representation by selecting uh, object pool from the top below and if we have a look here um, at this object for instance the monet cf button uh, we can see which properties we uh, recognize on this uh, this button so it's uh, this button right here and we can see for instance that it has the text counter plus plus the name is counter increase and the class name is a uh, button now these are the properties we selected to be identifying properties but we can change these in the object configuration so if we select object configuration uh, .NET because it's a .NET application um, and then have a look at the monet cf um, button like this uh, we can see that these are the properties that are also visible in Eclipse now we can select add and remove and then we can see all the properties that are available for this object 
and that's all you need to know to get started with Eclipse.